Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is not like your usual type of video where I'm going out somewhere or I'm at a concert. This is more of a sit down and what I basically put in my concert bag. Um, I'm basically just in a t-shirt. It says trash love. Yeah, so cute. Anyway, I have a concert coming up, so I thought this would be a good time for us to finally do a what's in my concert bag, what I pack, and whatnot. So this is basically my concert bag. It's very dirty. <laughs> Um, I usually never record from this angle either. This is basically my album collection. I do need to fix it up. It is looking kind of a mess, but I'll fix it eventually. I have a concert coming up in a couple of days. I'm pretty sure maybe that vlog might come out before this video. We'll see, we'll see, but I'm very excited. Here are my nails. If you guys saw my last vlog, the one at the beach in Hello E2, like the TXT week vlog, my nails were literally like gone. Okay, let's get started. Number one. So for number one, I for sure need my portable charger. This is the portable charger that I use. Make sure you have a portable charger just in case your phone dies because if you're going to be there at the venue like early in the morning or like from noon time and then the concert's at like 7. The concert's usually around like two and a half to three hours long. If you're going to be recording, taking videos of the day, your phone will most likely die by the time of the concert. So this is mine. This is 10,000 watts. So it's good enough for two charges. I can't really link this one because I actually bought this one off of the BTS um, Weaver shop. I don't know if you guys can tell. This is like a BTS logo. It's very subtle. I got it during the Black Friday sale and it was literally like nine bucks. Always remember your wire. I buy like spare ones just so I could bring to concerts and stuff. I got this from Five Below. They're like five dollars each, I'm pretty sure. Some something like that, depending on how long you want the stream to be. This one's a six feet one, so I can stand while my phone's charging. Into the concert bag it goes. A portable charger and my wire. Number two, depending on the day and what makeup I'm wearing, I usually bring an eyelash glue because just in case your eyelash like decides to come off, you should be able to bring it in. Whenever I go to concerts, I'm usually the one driving. So if anything, I could just always drop it off in the car, straight into my bag, and I always bring a lipstick. It's either a lipstick or a lip gloss, um, depending on the makeup, the vibes, chapstick. Um, but this has been my go-to. It's the Tarte Juicy Lip. This one's just the chapstick version. I, I have the raspberry. Oh, it's not focusing, but this one's the raspberry. It's the one I have on right now. Like, no matter what lip combo, lipstick, lip gloss, lip anything, this is my go-to. So as soon as that rubs off, this is like my go-to that goes straight on. Basically, any makeup that you need to bring to like touch up, I don't recommend bringing like full sizes, bring like travel sizes. Oh, I also bring blotting oil paper because I know I get pretty oily throughout the day. Number three, this also depends on the hairstyle too. But usually I bring a hair clip. I'll just clip it onto my bag like this. If it's not a hair clip, I bring a hair tie. So it honestly depends. Usually I make freebies to bring the concerts and hand out to other like fans. And sometimes I'm able to fit it in my bag or I bring like a separate bag just so I could just hand out freebies. Um, I'll just drop off the bag in my car later on. Or if it's like already near the concert time, I'll just toss the bag. I realize I'm not taking this bag to the concert. I just realized it right, right now, like halfway through recording. I'm actually taking my TXT X Mirage like bag, the bigger bag, just so I have more space. For example, this is basically the bag that I always bring, but that's honestly really all I bring. And the rest of the empty space is for like freebies from other fans. If you guys ever see me, come by and say hi. I would love to give you guys a freebie. The things that you should know before like going to a concert. Outfit wise, honestly up to you. Wear something that you know that you're gonna be comfortable, confident in just for the entire like three hours of the concert. Personally me, I usually dress up, but out of all my outfits that I've like worn so far, they're all comfortable. In a way where I'm not like constantly like fixing myself, constantly worried that something's gonna happen in my outfit. Wear whatever you're comfortable with. Like there's no limit to like whatever you wear. Seating. A lot of people say that no matter where you sit, the seating is still good, like the vibes are still good. That is in fact true. If you guys have seen my Edha vlog, Fate, that one I actually sat up in the nosebleed like all the way back to the point where I'm at like near the fence at the end. And honestly, I still had a good view, I still had a good time. I would say though, if you're really short like me, I don't recommend you getting floor. I mean, if you get floor like near the front of the station, that's a slight. But like if you got like seats like far in the back, I would say like from the middle, from like if you split the venue in half from the middle to the back, you're not gonna see. I had five inch heels for Axiom Mirage day two. If you've seen that vlog as well, I'll insert like small clips and stuff on the side so you guys don't have to like go back and forth and see like my view. But I actually had floor seats 
it's in the middle of the stadium and it was like literally smack center of the stadium and I could not see. Like I could see them because they would like poke out every once in a while but people in front of me were just a lot taller and I felt even worse when I saw like the group behind me and they were shorter than me. Yeah, I'm probably never gonna do it again unless I get like close seats to the stage or I'm just gonna sit like up in the sections because then you're guaranteed to have like a clear view of everything. Previews are just honestly just a plus or like an add-on to like your experience. You could trade with other fans. You can like interact with other fans and have small talk about it, like meet new people, all that good stuff. But honestly, it's really a plus if you want to. It's not like uh, you have to, to like get freebies from other people. You don't have to, it's up to you. Don't ever feel pressured of like, you know, asking somebody for a freebie unless they are consistent and it's like, you have to have a freebie to trade for my freebie. I d I've never had that happen. Um, even on times where I don't have freebies, basically my own experience and what I've noticed, everyone's really nice. Um, it's really fun whenever you randomly give out freebies and the person goes, Oh my god, it's my bias! It's always really fun. Merch. It's also very time consuming. Um, out of all the times that I've experienced like getting in line for a merch and stuff, they're all different in a way. For TXT at Super Mirage, I was in line at 10 and then merch lines open at 11 and I didn't make it to the front of the line until 2. So that's like 3 hours or so. Basically, most of the things that I wanted have already been sold out. I wouldn't say line up early or like camp for merch. I would say there are going to be booths and small sections of the stadium like inside that they're gonna have merch as well. Um, you could have a better luck at that. That was one of my experiences. The other one was after the concert. So like after the concert ended, I was like, oh, maybe not getting merch was not a good idea because now I want merch. That was like at fate. I was planning not to get merch at all. Then concert ended and I was like, I need, I need something to like remember this, you know, like a memory. We basically got the things that we wanted. I would also say that a lot of the concerts that I've been to, their t-shirts, the sizes range from medium to extra large. It was never a small. I wouldn't recommend getting merch after the concert just because they will run out. It's like play with your chances if you want to get like merch after the concert. That's basically that on merch. Okay, I know that nobody really talks about this, but stealing, it happens quite often. More often than you think it is, I would say just be safe. Anything that you have, make sure you keep track of it. Your PC holders, make sure they're secure. There have been a lot of instances where a lot of people like lost their PC holder with their PCs inside of it. If you don't want that, that's not ideal. I do have a story time about this. Not, it's not that big of a story time, but at Axe Mirage day one, I was sitting pretty far but I was sitting on the floor and at TXT they actually had like made posters that for everyone to hold up during our summer near the end of the like concert just to hold up their, our heads for them to read it was so cute it was very like a big banner like it's it's adorable so I put mine between like the seat of my my chair the chair next to me and I had it between my seat and the person sitting next to me was my sister so I kept it there for a while we were just like you know having fun at the concert then near the end of the concert I looked down because it's like time to like raise up our banners we didn't even have time to raise up our banners because like if you watch the vlog you kind of understand of why we weren't even able to like lift up our banners but I looked down and my banner was missing Someone stole my banner. I don't know where I went. Um, I know for sure, as a matter of fact, I had it next to me. Like, the entire time. Like, it was next to me. Like, I didn't move it at all. It was just next to me with my poster, with, like, some other banners and stuff. But specifically, that one was missing. And I looked behind me. Wasn't there. Looked in front of me. Wasn't there. Looked to the seat next to me. Wasn't there. My banner just disappeared, guys. Like, someone just stole it. I don't know. And then recently at um, Act Promise, my sister had a bow in her hair. If you watched that vlog, you saw it. She took it off because she was like, no, I, I don't want it like, on anymore. I'm just gonna put it in my bag. And at the concert, it's gone. Don't know where it went. It wasn't at our seat. It just vanished. So it was that. So um, stealing does happen. So I would say just be safe. But yeah, that's basically all I could think of. If you guys have any more questions or anything that you want to know about concerts, make sure you guys comment it below just so I can respond to your messages because I do love responding to your comments. Um, I think it's so fun. You guys are so sweet. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching me ramble. See you guys at the next concert. Bye bye.